Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're checking out Cherry Talk from Triple S Crystal Eyes, the second subunit of Triple S. Acid Angels of Asia was the first one, which I find to be odd now when I look at these. We did um, the kind of synopsis episodes of their Signal series, their daily of kind of vlog series. We did up to episode 200, I believe, which took about like an hour and a half. I don't want to think about how long it would take if we did the whole episodes. Even though watching those made me feel like I was totally missing out, it was very cool to see uh, a lot of them behind the scenes and learn a bit of their personalities that make you fall for a group a bit more. And man, man oh man, have I been falling more for that Assemble album. The B-sides are some of the, the best B-sides of this year, uh, and there are multiple on there, and it's kind of incredible. I don't know if it was my reluctance with the Jaden stuff like early on, it probably was. I don't know. When I did the first reaction to that album, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it like I do now. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm excited for this one, Cherry Talk. Uh, weirdly enough, the members in this group are some of the first to join Triple S, uh, which I find to be kind of odd. Like when you look at them, Soyeon, she was S1, who she's the perfect, perfect first member. You always need that that golden goose kind of first member, and she's so likable. Uh, Chan was S4, Jiwoo, who, uh, she's S3. Sumin, who's very young, she's the magnate of this subunit, 15, she's S6. Whereas if you look at Acid Angels of Asia, you have S5, S7, S8, and then Hidden, who was S2, she was an early one. Uh, but I find that to be interesting in terms of who they chose to debut and when. And also because members are voted on by the fans of which subunit they'll appear in or what songs they'll perform kind of thing. Uh, are they picking the right styles? Because I do remember some people complaining that a certain member who maybe doesn't like the more cute, brighter stuff is being chosen for it or something. I don't really know what's going on in that respect, but I do hear that largely all the voting thing is, is going pretty well and they're crafting it and framing it in a way that it can't be kind of manipulated and like you're matching up weird things basically they're they're handling it pretty well and i think it's a a, a very cool thing uh and i know that the nft stuff kind of works into that but it's a means to kind of have fair voting in a lot of ways i i think it's cool i'll probably get really really roped in when when the odd eye circle stuff comes out i don't uh, i swear off the nft everything they say this is sustainable who knows if i believe it but luna you got to do what you got to do and finally before we start sorry for running on for so long but uh i i am very interested in this group and i'm super late on this one we're going to be checking out uh, a handful of their performances over on patreon the crystal version of cherry talk which was like a live performance uh touch one of their b-sides eyes version um and also their version of dimension which if you guys don't know dimension is uh, a song that they're going to be kind of riffing on for every subunit so they'll have their own version of dimension uh which uh the one that i listened to which i i believe was the, was the acid angels of asia version was amazing i absolutely loved 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 it um so i'm excited to see how that then transfers to crystal eyes so let's get to it this is triple s Crystal eyes, cherry talk. Let's do it. This is, I know this is meant to be much brighter, which I'm a fan of, you know, for these younger groups. Ooh. This is like Pikmin. Don't, kids, don't eat pills that are shaped like that. They're probably something else. Same phone. Ooh. I like that bouncy note. This is them in their own world right now. And 
and then the man trying to tell them otherwise. Oh my god, everybody did that in school. I love these cutaways. This this MV is showing a lot of personality. How does that like synthy, dreamy quality of, of the instrumental remind me of like Nintendo? Shadow Band? Their shirts say Shadow Band. Oh. I don't know what's happening in this video. We'll try to piece it together. know if it's just like random connections but i just see a lot you have the a to z lines you've got i mean this is called cherry talk and they're 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 taking something that is then kind of almost transport uh, transforming their perspective like a like a sweet cherry motion kind of deal whoa this is gorgeous hmm 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 Whenever I see this, it just reminds me of Apple, right? It kind of reminds me of like the Apple logo, like they're trying to sell me a phone. Um, I don't know what's going on with the video. I do like the song quite a bit. Um, it's like that really easy listening kind of brightness, but not like over, this is not like overly like sugar bombed. It still keeps the triple S coolness that a lot of their songs have. Um, let's check it out again. Mm -hmm. A little pause and whatnot. Do people actually carry their phones with that much shit on it? I can't imagine the nightmare that is, like, in your pocket. I mean, I guess you'd have a handbag. But I can't even imagine that. Having a handbag that makes carrying things so easy. Mm. But then you guys don't have pockets, right? Trade-offs. I didn't see the turtle with like the knit sweater. There's a turtle. Wait, that is a real ass turtle. What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the app they hit? I'm sorry. I'm going to be pausing a lot. Cherry talk. Okay. Cosmo. See, to me, what I was thinking is that, like, this world is them on their phones kind of separated from reality um, for a bit. <gasps> I love the, that thing that kid is playing with in the car. Gen Z lyrics. Mm. It's this second part of the chorus that I like a whole lot more. In these bits where like their personality really pops. <laughs> so 
size of the phone. I love this part especially. Great shot here in the foreground. same time this song seems like very straight straightforward um in terms of like what they're talking about i don't know if there is any kind of deeper lori type message in this although i don't know what that in the end is even going to necessarily be with triple s i have no idea i love the turtle Man, she really kills it here. The... I like that pull, that pull out. Where it starts close on her face. What is this deal? It's like the one bit that feels like aggressive in this. That edit. Whenever I see a video that is like this bright and like playful, I'm always assuming there's some darker subtext. What? Look at their shirts. Oh, the turtle. What is she asking about the turtle? Are they texting this turtle? Is the turtle sentient? And then surrounded by cherry blossoms. Okay. I think this song is good. Um, not blown away by it, but I like it for what it is. Very easygoing, chill. Um, but that's the kind of... I do kind of... I have changed over the years i think that i do like the like the very sugary bubblegummy stuff especially when it comes from a younger girl group but uh this one kind of stays in the lane that i that i had said before where it's still sounds like it's light and playful but still mature and gives you the triple s essence and of course comes with the great like synthy uh dreamy instrumental that i love in a lot of their songs especially those b-sides let me know what you think about cherry talk let me know if there's a message here that I'm missing exactly. But yeah, I like it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time.